right here. Who are you there, fa- this, fair maiden? No, this right here, this right here, we were having a discussion as to whether or not sugar is an alcohol, and the only way he could shut me up is he goes, and you're? No, don't worry. God, God they damn know. It. That I one guy know. knows. Lauren well, knows. We're, we're, uh, okay, so we're <laughs> underway. We have to fight to not talk between episodes. And we want to fight. We're just talking about all kinds of interesting shit, including the dark web. But no, we're going to get back to cal- caloric content and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I was just arguing that hard alcohol is good for you and beer is going to make you it, mm, less good. Anyway, nope, so, nope, nope. right, we monks, were. Monks, monks drank it. So we just uh, we just got back from our various uh, forms of travel and trips and shit like that. And now Dory has a couple of would you rathers she'd like to throw your way. I do. Um, I don't know where this would you rather kind came from. There, I, I don't know. Some of you may know it. It's the probably Stephen Hawking. Which <laughs> <laughs> he's he's known for these. <laughs> he's no, yeah. String theory and would you rather? Right. Um, would you rather? <laughs> Would you rather? That's a dick, dick move. <laughs> okay, we can go move. on with that. Let's not. <laughs> All right. So, would you rather? This was a thing. I don't even know what part of my life this was a thing. Right. Slide down a 50 foot banister covered in razor blades and land into a pool of lemon juice. Pleasant. Or suck all of the snot out of a dog's nose till his head caved in. Over to you. And I, my maintenance is, or I maintain, that it depends on the size of the dog. <laughs> You give me a you chihuahua. Don't get to pick that. Chihuahuas don't have a you lot of snot. Get, you'll get a Saint Bernard. You really? Oh. You'll get a Saint Bernard. Oh, now you see. <laughs> Do I get to wear leather pants like usual? I, oof. I'm so <laughs> glad you're sitting down on the other side of this counter. Um, the other one I thought of on the way over here, because, yeah. you know, instead of paying attention to the road, right. I'm thinking of would you rathers. Right. Would you rather. <laughs> the moment before we sca- die in car accidents, what are we thinking? <laughs> would I rather. Would I rather. Scale a 25-foot Saburo cactus nude mm-hmm. facing it. Oh, oh well. Facing yeah, it. A lot it, harder to do the other way. Right? Really. Or give Trump a blowgy. Wow. You didn't even... You you got that out without erping a little. No, I yeah. felt a little. Yeah. A little it, it wrote, yeah. A little mm. blowgy. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a double. Well, see, and I, I had this thing as a kid where I was thinking in absolutes a lot. Things like... That doesn't surprise me. Like riding in a car, if I can roll this window down, what if I could never roll it up? What, what if you had to choose between either having this window always rolled up or always rolled You've down? You've got this thing, this weird sort of, there's no gray area with yeah. Gary. It's yeah. like up, down, black, white, no gray. Yeah. That's it. It, it was a strange thing. And then for some reason, I started having this image of driving along and noticing the power lines where they would cross the road. I did it all the time. But did you have the insanity that I've had where... What if there was a black curtain of sh- shadow that came down from the power line and completely obscured what you could see on the road until you pass through it? So every time you pass under a power line, you don't know if you're going to run right into a brick wall or a cow standing in the road or no, what. No, see, I didn't do that part. You cl- are clinical. Right. I think you're clinical. I used to lay down the back seat because I was virtually an only child, really. Uh-huh. So when we travel, I lay down the back seat of the car. And if you ever do that, even as an adult, it is the coolest car thing. Sick. No, 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 no. Oh. You look out the window that's above your head, right behind you, yep. and the power wires right. they, are they become have, animated. Right, they go they, like in and out, and white, small, and small, and, and white. Yeah. yeah, it's I did that for oh man, that was like my thing. And then you get down going down the weird road where they where each power pole changes, where one will be horizontal and one will be yeah, vertical. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like wah wah. Yeah, wah. yeah, 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 yeah. Then. For some reason, and I still kind of do this. We're like 15 beers in. This is kind of bullshit that happens <laughs> after our, like 14 it rogues. Was, this you is know? Our, our version of peyote. Yeah. <laughs> so I do, this is, I think is just me. Right. You're driving around a long, down a long stretch of highway. And it wasn't until Brendan and On I. On a dark desert highway. Me, Come in. Cool of birds in your hair. Cool whip in my hair? Yeah, what? That's not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Beers. Uh <laughs> We were looking, we were out trying to film a video with a drone of mm. the little car. Mm. We're, and mm. Brendan had borrowed this kick ass drone. And we, we actually did film some video. And someday he's going to finish I editing. I saw Brendan at your show, by the way. Did you? Oh, yeah, nice. Did. Good. Uh, once he finishes finally editing it, years, years later. <laughs> Listen, I have video from us over the summer. Yeah, good I point. have not figured out how to yeah, fuck to do, no, so no whatever. <laughs> but we did discover that. There's a shit ton of power lines alongside roads because <laughs> we tried to find a road to film along and it is hard to do. Yes. Uh, so picture this next time you're really high while driving. 
Because that's because <laughs> that's what we do here we, in Oregon, where it's legal. Okay, here on the Tangent Lounge, we don't advocate being high on driving. Uh, going down a long straight stretch of road, there will be power lines alongside it. Yes. I picture the power poles turning as if on a ground mounted. Oh, I see what you're saying. Ground mounted pivot. So all of the wires and yeah. all of the power poles at the same time Move. all rotate down like they're falling. Right. But they go down. The power lines cut through the road like a like a cheese slicer. Through the and through the ground and underneath yeah. them, and then they spin up on the other side and they do this. So, where when you were a child, were you given peyote? Does this with your from? cream well, of my wheat? Parents did smoke cream a of peyote. A lot of weed. I <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. I never. I wasn't that clever. No, I was not no, that clever. I, I, I call it clever. No, as, no, but see, it is because you are seeing. Um, my guess is too that you the world as you, it does not exist. The upside down. When yeah. you doodle, mm-hmm. giggity, mm-hmm. when you're like doodle, when you draw, whatever, or you sketch, you're probably very good at it. A lot of reds and explosions. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I w- I, really? I, I wish I were. I don't believe that. I would, I've got the thing that m- the majority of we unartistic have where the mind says, I'm going to draw this, and the hand do says, fuck off. It I'm comes out that. a line. Yeah. 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 Well, but, mm, but you have the ability to see something in a three dimensional fashion. I, I have Which that. is when you're strong in spatial relationships. Yeah. And I, and I oddly, I'm not always, but I am oddly aware of my surroundings enough so that I can picture what the floor joists below us are like, what the ground below that, that is, is a spa- like. That's what your, the, your spatial. What spatial. The, the, con- the, the pipes going through the dirt on yeah. their note underneath that. That's spatial, that you're a spatial yeah. thinker. Yeah. And that's, that's, that means technically though, you probably, if you found the right uh, medium to do art, you probably could be a very good sculptor. Oh, quite possible. I would imagine. Yeah. I just retired you, from theater. I've got time. Like <laughs> motherfucking, like he's Carol fucking Channing up in here. Okay. Diamond Jarek. It's fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Corvallis, bitch. <laughs> no, but seriously, I bet you could be a very good sculptor because you can do that whole spatial three-dimensional I can see like if you look at a square you could probably see a cube in your mind Mm -hmm. see there you go so you could be a good sculptor Um, I'll bet you butter I think you should I think you should try it why not it'll be kind of fun yeah what the hell yeah Mrs. E paints you sculpt you open your own art studio boom make it everything would look like boobs but you know (laughs) that's my thing you're into that (laughs) so it's okay (laughs) god damn it um Okay, so the um, the the would you rather's that we mentioned, right, right, for that one or two people who listen, <laughs> go on the Twitter, you know, comment on Twitter, Facebook, fucking dying horse, man, just shoot that shit. Speaking, of, I mean, I guess let's let's take a quick break for Mrs. E so she can drop in a uh, uh, whatever the thing is that tells people to go where to go because we are I'll tell them we're all go. about the media these days. Yep. So here you go. You're listening to the Tangent Lounge with Electric Gary and Dory, just Dory, and we're available on Podbean and Stitcher and iTunes and Gmail and all that shit at Tangent Lounge. Give us a listen and maybe a review. And we're back. <laughs> so, because uh, uh, Ms. Dory here has been kicking ass in the uh, social media realm that I refuse to touch with a 10 foot here, okay, here, And this is a, one of my things I posted on the Twitter for us was that we'll never be too famous to follow you back. Yeah, we will. You know what I'm saying? Because I looked at um, Amy Schumer, mm-hmm. a.k.a. my 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 wife. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to be very, very uncomfortable to be married to Amy Schumer and Keegan-Michael Key at the same mm-hmm. time. But we're going to make it work out. Um, they call it a triad. Oh, yeah, they do. And some people make it work. Yeah, they do. Right. Um, she's got like 6.5 million <laughs> followers. So my little tweet of, I saw your show, brava. She's never going to see it. Oh. Some like assistant to an assistant to an assistant to an assistant's cousin. Right. Is going through all these and going, nah, nah, nah. Same with Keegan-Michael Key. I went, oh, well done. You were stunning. He's never probably one of the five most famous Keegans. <laughs> on Twitter of the, of the Connecticut Keegans <laughs> yes. he, he'll never see it right. right but he literally just came off Hamlet oh I literally uh, just came off Hamlet uh, into this show quick quick tangent of comedy I just uh, looked on the old uh, websies for tickets to Hamilton Hamilton mm. not Hamilton Hamlet Hamlet oh okay Keegan-Michael Key came off Hamlet so I was gonna say somebody's doing oh, Hamilton oh Hamilton's like mortgage your home 
$544 yeah, for dick. the cheap seats. That's more than my rent. Exactly. Fuck That's off. why we went to Meaner Share. Well, we also went because we love those people. And I'm not a musicals person. I want to see a motherfucking play. If I'm going to go to Broadway, I want to see a play. I don't want to see a musical review. Yeah. I want to see a play. Singing shit. I'm probably earning a lot of people dropping off of Twitter right now like crazy. Oh, she doesn't like Hamilton. She's not American. Just as many people hate musicals. Yeah. <laughs> but because of Anissa, super listener. Mm-hmm. Um, super she, fan and participant in the show. Yeah, she uh, recommended because she has a degree in social, social she, marketing. Nice. Yeah. So she suggested, you know, the things to do on the twatter. And it's working. <laughs> it's weird. And yeah. you think is not that many people have actually listened to the show. That's the thing. <laughs> They're, but, no, but no, here's the thing. Yeah. They're liking what we post. They think it's funny. It's they find it amusing or easy. warm or yes, friendly or exactly. goofy or... Wah, wah, or whatever the case is so it's a very or interesting or at least with a low viral load yeah <laughs> load <laughs> it's it's just a very interesting community and I think the pod folks are very close to one another they're very supportive of one another yes which is neat yeah and I need to sit my ass down and go here's a hundred podcasts let me try every one of them do you listen to podcasts it's, uh, fuck me I you know okay the only one I no, listen no, shut your face Mark Marin. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way. Because he and I are going through the same mental and physical health crisis. On the last uh, episode, we talked about how we shared a table, Mrs. E and I, with a 40-year-old boy. Yes. Was on Mark Maron's Eat show. Eat a dick. Okay. He, we are two degrees from Obama. God damn with it. With that motherfucker. I, okay, so yeah, Mark Maron and Ricky Gervais right. are the two podcasts I have listened to in my lifetime. I, I have not, um, for some odd reason, I don't know why, I just, I need to like take a weekend and well, just sit down and go, I'm going to go on our, our followers list. I'm going to go on my our followers list and go, okay, I'm listening to these guys, these guys, these out, guys, these out. guys. Yep, yep. And quite frankly, I can't really imagine a bad podcast because you're listening to something that you haven't experienced from people. Unless they're talking like this. Then you want to kill yourself. I Oddly enough, I heard uh, Theo Vaughn, very funny comic, okay. on the Adam Carolla show recently. He fucking killed me with a couple of great uh there was he described um kevin hart as looking like a used blanket dealer no come on that's just <laughs> the term Christ. and they just came, it was just like it flowed so so natural i was like this fucking guy used uh, a used blanket, blanket dealer. dealer you know but i think of comedy as 35 millimeter photography in that in that you have to send it out for development <laughs> you have to drive through a photo man yeah. that's how old i am i used to work for photo man double Fuck press off. for no extra charge no but <laughs> we embezzled so much money anyway <laughs> then you got hit by a delorean in the they're, out, of the they're out of they're out of business no one gives a shit but anyway no because you take a photographer will take 100 150 200 shots of an event sure to get 10 quality ones yeah that's comedy for me you put out 200 jokes, you're going to get 15, 20 fucking gold piece, right, pieces, right. right? That's how it is for podcasting, I think. You put out 500, and yeah. you get a few hits here and there. Sure. And that's what carries you. Yeah. I, seriously. It, there's a certain talent and, and rarity in the podcaster that you can really hang with. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't surprise me too much that you don't listen to that many shows because you your life is such... A Oh, shit. Not oh, was oh. that beer on the... Oh. It would have been, but I drank it all. Good for you. So that's pays off being an alcoholic. So the... Uh, um, or an, as they say back east, alcoholic. I don't know why they say Irish. it like that. Anyway. The... Uh, my my lifestyle and, and job, blah, 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 is such that being um, uh, alone <sighs> and busy, like doing things that aren't... That don't take up not, yeah, a yeah, ton yeah. of brain no, work. I get it. But so, see, I should too, though, because I'm working from home. But you're you're talking to students and webcasting yeah, but and see, shit like I've that. Got... Well, then you have no fucking excuse. Get some podcasts Sorry, under Sandra. your belt. How I many had times? To burp. Have I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I followed her critique. She said there was stop a burping. Microphone in the way. What God are you gonna damn do? it! I had I had a chunk with that one. Anyway, here's the thing. I I I should. Right. But because the country is in such a shit show right now, I have CNN on all the time or MSNBC. What? And like you're gonna fix any of that? Shut that shit off. I All it's going to do is bum your but, ass out. But no, put a he, podcast in your ear. It'll make you feel better. But you know, I, mm -mm. okay, well, here's, I used to listen to, in fact, I still do, but I don't have a, a decent AM radio in my house anymore. Who does? Art um, Bell. 
I listened to Art Bell. Yes, Art Bell. Since the '90s, like early '90s, if not late '80s, whatever. When he first, pretty much, I mean, all the way through George Norrie, the whole nine yards. So that's one of the things I used Midnight to listen to in the really, desert. Yeah, yeah, religiously. But now you're right. I need to just like get up on that. And to me, it's like podcasting is weird because I don't know where to find them because I don't have iTunes. Kind of thing, like I don't have any. Put the podcast addict. Uh, oh, either iHeart or not iHeart. Uh, tune in. Yeah, tune there's tune in. There's, in, there's iHeart. So, they're, they're they're everywhere. Yeah. I just got to find the ones, and I'm like, okay, Stitcher. I mean, get yeah, Stitcher. What, yeah, you need to use your. We phone. need to be on Stitcher. We are on Stitcher. Fuck off, are we? Yeah. Who puts us on Stitcher? It's all out there. If we're if we're on Podbean, which we are, yeah, and iTunes, yeah, you can find us on anything. <sighs> Listener. So, so then I got to start putting Stitcher on there then. Because I've been putting Stitcher, I've been putting Podbean and iTunes. Yeah, we're we're on all the apps. You know, I oh, use Podcast well, Addict on my phone. We can find us. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Sorry, sorry yeah. Sandra. Um, okay, well, I'll put that. Anyway, yeah, yeah. It's weird because I'm in. It's almost like being in a lot of theater and not going to see it. That was my case when I did <laughs> a lot of acting. Like, yeah, that's like, what like, I do too. When I got paid for it. Yeah. I rarely went to see anybody else because I was busy. Right. So I mean, it's kind of the same thing. But it's interesting to find somebody who doesn't know us that well, like the guy who owns. Um, the Growler Cafe in Lebanon. Yeah, yeah. Remember who came up to me at the brew pub? Yeah. Or the brew fest that he runs. Right. Loves us. I love that. Loves us. And now that I'm back, I want to go and I'm going to I'm gonna talk to him about, hey, let's do a thing. Yeah. Because he has like a little beer cast thing that he does, which nice. is kind of cool. Yes. Right. Um, so the, anyway, the, the would you rathers, mm, if anybody mm, listens mm. to this, um, please like tweet which one you would rather. There you go. You know? Would you rather be the slidey down the banister, razor bladey lemonade lemon person? If you're a little bit the, hungry, the dog's not thinking not so bad. Which reminds me, knows. tangent of a uh, an idea I once had for a pill that would give you nutritive phlegm. It would do what? It would give you nutritive phlegm. You know how in the in nutritive you've a, phlegm. You've got a cold. You like, and then you swallow. So some lung butter that actually has nutrients in it. Exactly. As a, as a survival as a survival thing, you're out in the cold and you've got to survive and everything like that. What if every time you swallowed one down? You're like, fuck, I just had a meal. That one was like pork gravy. You have the fucking weirdest brain I have ever encountered in my life. No, but I, I okay. <laughs> I just had a little bit of schmelky mm-hmm. as you were saying that. It, swallowed it. Could have been Thanksgiving dinner. Zero nutrients. Well, you see, it was wasted. You know, it was funny. When, I was, <laughs> when we were in fucking Oregon airspace, in the air, I started coughing and sneezing. That's not right. <laughs> It's because That's not right. it's because you suddenly became a New Yorker and now you're allergic to Oregon. No, no, no. I've always no. I've always been allergic to Oregon. Yeah. For since I landed in Oregon uh-huh. eleven years ago, well, I realized that. When and I now was, you found your new home in perfect New York. It's not perfect, <laughs> ass. It's just like I realized when I was in Arizona last year for the whole like death extravaganza. Right. No allergies. No oh, vertigo. No well, nothing. now that you're on the subject of your health, what the fuck? Right. Let's get into that. Close call, Karen. Again. It's what we call me. Yeah. Right? So some time well, ago, uh, you had a lump on your lung of some kind. No, it was like a spot. A spot. And yes. it ended up being like just a schmooky on the x-ray. Uh, yeah. Cause somebody Cat scan money later. Thumb on it. Yeah, somebody and, hacked a lug, right. a non-nutritional lug, mm-hmm. mind you. Wasted. On my, whatever. Right? Um, and then, of course, Dart Van Lanningham is still hanging in there, but he's not cancerous. He's just enormous and annoying. Oh. And I'm really waiting for him to go away. Gotta love that. D'Artagnan is his full uh, Christian name. Okay. Uh-huh. Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. When they start calling. Which- I see. I'm- spoiler alert. <laughs> I can't spoiler alert because somebody's going to get pissed at me. If- There's just- now, Mrs. E and I, I okay. are the only ones Don't- watching. Th- only ones I have talked to that are watching Stranger Things one episode at a time. At not- Have you I- finished the whole thing? No. Not- because we're, we're being. We're. We're. We're metering it out. We're enjoying it. We're watching uh, one a night at dinner and then saving it till later. But everybody else. You're smart. They're fucking jamming that shit down their throats because they're like, oh, give me that. You're smart. So it means there's no need for spoilers because everybody's already watched the whole fucking thing. That's true. Well, yeah. well you know what though? The cool and thing is. And this isn't a, coming out till December. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the shows that I watch uh, on the Hulu. Mm-hmm. Don't show up but once a week. Yes. So I get that sort of once a week. I get to look forward to this. But anything on Netflix. I've ordered You're mainlining like, that shit. Video masturbated yeah. for 48 hours straight. I'm like, well, that's done. What's next? Right? Do you have this problem with Hulu where it fucking sits there and does the cycling uh, no. loading bullshit? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. We got- not in. T- I have the latest. Ver- Do you have the newest version? Oh, uh, maybe not. This is riveting fucking Isn't podcasting, it? by the <laughs> good way. Good pod. Good pod. 
the latest version of Hulu. Is it like the multi, like the multicolor sort of, whoom, or is it just like green letters? Green letters. You're way out of the league. Oh, you're out of the that league. That might explain it. Cause you're way out of the league. Yeah. Some bullshit. Because we, yeah. we updated to expensive internet. And it's supposed Are to be you on the Rokus? Ass. No, we're through the smart TV. Anyway, yeah, fuck all this shit. Let's get back to Yeah, my, my, yeah, my things. Okay, so here's the madness. Right. Um, Oh, the old farts club. We got to talk about that too. All right. Anyway, so over the sum year, because mm-hmm. um, I have it off because I'm in the education. Right. Um, I, just, <laughs> I decided to want to do like a lot of cool physical things in Oregon giggity that I've never done before. Oh, sneezing and hacking. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Inhaler. No. So I'm like, oh, you know, like hiking. It's very and, Bobby Hill the way you said that. Who? Bobby Hill. No. Bobby Hill. From King of the Hill. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. My pie. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so I wanted to go like on hikeys. Right. But I don't like hiking by myself because I'm kind of a pussy. Bikey. I don't have a bike anymore. No. I need to get a new bike. Yeah, That's on the list. Okay. Sienna. Um, or Hanukkah Harry, whoever wants to come. Um, and I want to do some river floats. I've never done river floats before. Oh, I, did I've we talk that. about this before? That's a lot of fun. I thought we did. We might have. No, oh, whatever. So um, I have some friends who are, I have friends of all ages. I have friends in their 20s, all the way up to a little bit older than me. Sure, rub it in. Go on. What do you mean? Well, anyway, um, I got one friend and you're here, so, so you go shut on. up. Talk. <laughs> you had somebody give you a sixer for quitting the theater. <laughs> Fucking Carol. Well, Miss Channing to the house. <laughs> anyway, I mean so blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> um, Joe and Russ. Because right. Russ is fifty. Joe is a little bit older than me. Yeah. John Elliott's about the same age as Joe. So so uh, quick uh, thing, quick no, quick backlash no. two episodes ago. You you were supposed to have met up in New York with Joe. Right, she. This is Johanna, woman. Yes, Johanna. Yes. And uh, turns out, I don't know if we ever told the story that uh, on a trip to New Mexico, I believe, uh, Mrs. E and I showed up in the early, early wee hours at the uh, PDX old airporty thing to get on the, the flying tube. And who do we find? But Joe and Russ sitting no! at the same gate to get on the same plane at fucking 5 a.m. or whatever That's on a Tuesday. That's weird as shit. Yeah. yeah. But anywho. Anyway. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway. So. so cosmic connection. We and they to, listen, as I understand it. Yes, they do. So hi, guys. Um, I wanted to like do some outdoorsy thingsies, but I don't like going by myself in that respect. I'll go anywhere else, but I don't like going in like you know secluded forests. Don't want to be buried in the backwoods. Don't I, feel co- yeah, yeah, but you're like the banjo on out. Sweaty tooth madman. Yes. Okay. So um, I said, hey, you want to just go on a hike ski? So we went on um, one of the hikes. I can't remember the first one. The second one was, oh, well, the first one was um, McDowell Creek. Means okay. nothing to like most people we're listening to, but you know some of the steps are like huge stone and like a foot high. Okay, made it, did it, didn't die. Sure, had a good time. Um, we went on the Silver Falls hike. Oh, I've heard of that. Like one. seven miles, a <laughs> lot uphill, wow. a lot over rocky terrain. Stopped a few times because we're all old, right? Mm-hmm. Did it afterwards. Felt great. Okay, we did two different river floats. When I say we, I say those group of people, and I, I deemed us, they're dubbed us, whatever, the um, Old Farts Adventurers Club, or OFAC. Um, OFAC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I just peed myself. Um, so you did float? Twice. Okay. We did two floats. Everything felt great. River rafts or um, tubes? tubes. Or, okay. Yeah. Did tubing. I did tubing on the Lament and tubing on the Sanium. All right. Sanium was a bit, was much better. It yeah. was a little more rough. Sure. That helps. Um, but it was kind of fun because it was like, woo, 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 you know, yeah. um, but it felt great. Right. And that was all kind of like in July ish, early August. Hot times. Right, <laughs> ish. Yeah. yeah. Right around. But you don't mid- want to be out in the cold river. Yes. Like and now. it was really like be whole cold. Right, but right. Um, right around mid August, anything I would do that was physically exerting did not feel right. Okay. It didn't. In a, in a what a way. <sighs> well, okay. I'll give you an example. There's a cheesy. What they Discharge? call in Oregon an amusement oh. park. Come on. Okay. Um, Enchan- Enchanted Forest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. It's cheese. It's total cheese, but I wanted to go, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's the summer I'll go to a cheese fest. Everything's at the top of a hill, by the way, Enchanted Forest. Oh. Like, steep hills. Okay. It was 95. It's where the children disappear. Right. It was 95. It was overcast, and it was right in the middle of the fires. Oh, yeah. Got to the top of a hill, almost passed out for real. During the summer. For real. Oh. Get the, thinking, get the black spots in the vision and all that? Just like the, oh, I'm not feeling good. No. I'm like, that's not right. Yeah. You know? I'm yeah. like. And you've been, you've still been not smoking, right? Correct. I'm on. Good. I'm approaching month eight. Okay. Nice. Um, 
That so, will be on your ass about that shit after that long Oh, it's thing. done. Okay, good. It's done. Yeah. Well, because last year, give me a break. And you could afford to go to New York because you're right. not but smoking. Come on. Go With in, the whole mom thing? Enjoy I the, could, the good food and all that. I was like... Get, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I went, this isn't feeling right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I've got heart disease in my family. Okay. I'm a fatty. Mm-hmm. And I'm old. Okay. Right? Sure. So I went, okay, let's... Let's get this checked out. So I called my doctor. <laughs> anyway, I called my that doctor. That was a waste of your time. Yeah. Well, because my doctor moved, so I have a new doctor I have never seen. Ah. So I called him. I said, well, you know, because I felt like a heaviness in my chest. Not pain. Just like a heaviness. And mm, not right. That's Something's not weird. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they said, well, we can see you in like three weeks, right? I'm like, okay. Congestive heart failure? You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be good. Just yeah. take a pill. And somebody called and me back, fine. though. Some uh, a gentleman called me back and said, "Can you go to urgent care and get an EKG, please? Just yeah. just to do that for me." He was like, "It was really cool." He was like, "I'm the person who cares." Right. Yeah. So I went to eat the urgent care. EKG was fine. All right. Um, Never the, mind then. The on call physician was like, "You know what? Here's the thing." Is there a midget standing on your chest? Okay. Have <laughs> him step off. <laughs> Brad. Do you Brad. Of a bra. No, he said, "Listen, if you were my patient, I would skip all the blood tests and just go right to a stress test." Let's just get it done. Yeah. You know, I said, okay. Right. So I called, got the stress test booked. And he's like, what's your major malfunction, you maggot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is really they stressful. They actually gave me my 2018 taxes, and oh, I had to teach oh. a class of underprivileged white boys who all had ADHD. Oh, um, that's stressful. Yeah, that's stressful. Yeah. And I, they replayed the Trump election on a uh, loop. Anyway. Is he, he going to win again? He can't possibly <laughs> win again. <laughs> So anyway, the, what they do is they put you on the, the old the old treadmill. And it's not just a regular treadmill. They put that shit at like mountain climbing angles and awesome. shit. So you do your thing and they take a reading. And I was waiting for test. This is hilarity of the whole like fucking medical system right now. Okay, right, right. I'm waiting for results. Waiting, no, Nobody called me. Nothing. Because of Obamacare. It, <laughs> which has nothing to do with the Affordable Care Act. But anyway. Right. Thanks, Omaha. Anyway, so <laughs> I um, was waiting. Nobody called me. I had to find out my test results. On the my chart function that comes through your email, oh, I looked well, look, and it said you have left for. bundle branch block. That's a lot of alliteration, and not in the least bit poetic. L B B B. Correct. <laughs> I went, huh? So I had to research. That's the new robot in the next Star Wars, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can't go far. He gets really tired yeah. really fast. <laughs> yeah, he's the only asthmatic android they've ever had in Star Wars well, series. We but anyway, found shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. I had to look up all these things on my own to find out what LBB was, right? Yeah. I'm like, basically, long story short, misfiring. Oh. Left ventricle's like, mm, fuck you, I'm not going to fire right. And okay. they said, right bundle branch block is okay. Left bundle branch block could be anywhere between a standalone condition. And you have three Or you to have live. to have, yeah, or you have to have a bypass. Wow. Literally went from one to the other the gamut, right? Well, I'm glad the app and told you. And I'm like, you. thanks, doctor, for calling me about that. Kind and of so, and then it said, like on this my chart thing, it says, you know, upcoming tests you need. All in red. And it lists like <laughs> these three tests. I'm like, so is somebody going to call me? Uh, how do I get this? So I just called him and went, since I already read my own diagnosis, I'm going to actually build them. Um, on a related note, Mrs. E and I have decided to take an old x-ray machine when they're getting rid of theirs. We're going to set it up on our garage. Yes, you start are. doing, doing yes, x-rays. Yes, you are. <laughs> anyway, so I went, okay, can I... You know, three tests now. Three. Okay. I'm like, okay. Three is three. the loneliest yeah. number yeah. that you yeah. ever So the first test actually was supposed to be like the third, but I had the vertigos. So oh, I had the to postpone. First on the third and just, the Just roll. Oh, fuck. Just roll. Okay. So I had an uh, echocardiogram, which is basically a sonogram for your heart. It has three letters, EKG. I'm no, pro- no, e- no, EKG is different than an echocardiogram. EKG <laughs> is um, the electrodes that just... ECG. Correct. No. Um, e- ECG is like an image. What's the K and the E? Electrocardiogram is the actually get a physical readout of the beats on paper, whereas an ECG you get a like a vert like a f- visual of what the heart's doing. So not the lie detector one. <laughs> <laughs> My heart has always been truthful, Gary. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. No. Anyway, so it's just like an actual visual. It's like right. a sonogram. It's like imagine if your heart was pregnant and they're taking a picture of it. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Heart babies. Right. So I get that done. First trimester. Still a boredom. <laughs> wow. You, in these last three sessions, <laughs> you've covered the brown folks and the abortion jokes. What is there anything left? There must be. You got any priest jokes? No. Shut it. No. 
Got it. Anyway, so we do the So they do the echocardiogram, and heart is strong. Okay. Heart is proper size because my father's You're not was enlarged. You know, my father's was enlarged. Now having a big heart is supposed to be a good thing. What negative, the fuck? Negative. Okay. Negative. Metaphorically speaking, yes. Okay. He had rheumatic fever when he was a child, and that swallows your heart. Okay. And gives you bullshit heart problems. But anyway, the extra. Yeah. So right size, good strength. Walls are good. I'm like, oh, bonus round. My sugar walls. Yeah. Uh, mm. Different. Mm. Part of the body. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I've had enough pictures of my sugar walls. We've had transvaginal <laughs> probe jokes for That's like the true. last two years. Anyway. Darts in the way. So <laughs> so um, then the second round I had to go in the first day was, and the thing was, was they were telling me all the wrong information. Mm. They said, oh, we're going to give you information. We're going to give you medicine that erases your heart. Erases it? Races it. Oh. Okay. So I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Right? People pay extra for that. Yeah, and you'll do this, you'll do that, you'll go on the treadmill, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, fuck me. You right? don't want to drive a Ferrari down uh, Yeah, you know, I mean, you have to Miami. do like a Rubik's Cube the, while getting anally fucked by a donkey. Yeah. Great! Love our medical system. First, you're um, going to do the blow off of this virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're like 18 beers in. Anyway, so I get in there and I'm like, oh, no, this is the rest day. I'm like, Mm-mm. okay, so lay over there. Literally. And here's a kitten. They, you know, they talk and they put this giant needle into your arm. Okay. And they shoot you full of nuclear medicine. I was really fucking hoping for superpowers. It did not happen. Not yet. You have to couple it with an electric shock. We're going to get to that after the show. Great. Okay. Um, they put it in there and then they go, okay, just lay on this table and we'll take like, um, you know. Plutonium nightboard. <laughs> well, they take images of the heart. Oh, can you guys hear that? That would be Josie. Josie! I think the cat's scratching at the door, but you keep talking. Oh, okay, yeah. So anyway, they take um, like visuals of the passages of your heart and what they're what it's doing and in, in, in rest and stuff like that. And like to see if the, the, the tubes are clear or whatever, right? So um, I do that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty laid back. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And they're like, all right, come back tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Tomorrow is when we simulate a stress on the heart. I'm like, oh, oh. okay. So. By using the one inch punch method. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I go in and they do the whole, okay, first we're going to shoot you up with saline. They had to put an IV this time. The day before it was just an injection. Boom, done. This is like a straight up IV. Like I'm going to surgery. Okay. They shoot me up with saline. Then they go, okay, now we're going to wheel you over here into this room. And we're going to put this medication into your body. And it's going to be five minutes long. It comes out of a box, dude. It comes out of like an electronic box. Like it's a like, box of wine? It's like a... Yeah. Oh. There's that's Josie's the sound, drinking That's the sound water. it made. That's one of my favorite sounds. Anyway, so this this box. And she said it's going to be five minutes long. And she goes, some people feel it. Some people don't. Some it people was like, catch fire. It was like waterboarding my heart. Oh. You're laying on a gurney. And it simulates like you literally are running two or three miles. Ooh. So picture the last time you were really physically exerted. Not that one. That's gross. Oh, that was But like, nice. yeah, that's not, that's a nice one. The other one. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind. And lay still. Uh. Mm-hmm. And you can only flap your feet. Okay. Well, that was happening. Never mind. Never mind. So yeah. <laughs> so five minutes of that. But everybody was really cool. The cardiac nurses were really funny. I'm like, anybody have a five minute joke? You know, I mean, I was making everybody laugh. In the meantime, I'm like, I'm going to die here. I mean, it literally felt like I was running uphill in uh, the Boston Marathon and I was laying on a gurney. Uh, it is the weirdest. I can feel it right now. My heart's racing. Is feeling it. Because I can recreate that feeling. Uh, it's like Tina from Bob's Burgers. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> So then she goes, well, it has a really short shelf life. Once you turn it off, we turn it off. It goes away. And sure enough, they turn it off. And it really does bring it down really quickly. So I was like. <sighs> then did you miss it? <sighs> like, no. I, I just get into it. <laughs> no, I did not. It wasn't like a cool, like if like I'm on diet pills. N- n- oh. no, 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 no. This is like a full body. I mean, I was sweating. I was red. I was hot. Bleeding from the nipples? Practically. Uh-huh. Um, like I was. Oh, God, it was really unpleasant. Mm. But they made it super. I mean, they were cool. Okay. So then they wheel me into the other room and they shoot me up with more nuclear medicine. My God. I mean, you could probably see my heart from space if you looked the right way. You're glowing. Then they put me under the little picture thing again to see the heart uh, had gone through exertion to see if there was any blockage. Right. Zero blockage. What happened to the LBBB thing? Or... Okay, here's the good part. Okay. Ready? Good slash bad. Test was over on Tuesday. And the cool guy, he was like, your doc will probably get him on Thursday morning. I'm like, great. It's a long way to go. 
Friday afternoon rolls around. Oh. No call. What the fuck? No call. And I'm like, so finally I called and I said, can, can, can somebody, I had some tests done. Can somebody, I'm going to go with, get some, oh, the doctor's not until Monday. Oh, how about that? I, I said. He's golfing. I go, I think there are other ones there. So if you could procure a doctor to read this for me and give me, maybe give me a little ringy dingy. That'd be super. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, 15 minutes later, phone rings. Hey. Get this. Somebody else read it. You ready? Huh? It says here you're due for a coloss- for a, for a colonic. Or no, what is it called? Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. We want to jam a camera in your ass. <laughs> That'll fix it. And I go. You see, I, I, there I'm, was another thing. Yeah. I'm waiting for. Okay, let's put it this way. I want nothing to do with my butt until I find out if I'm going to live through the night. They're always so if you could find a doctor to for read this, that yeah. would be great. Huh. So finally, like Friday at five o'clock, you're fine. No LBBB, false positive. Ah, love that. But, <laughs> nice. But now I know heart is good size, heart is strong, heart is. All the vessels are clear. So again, no explanation as to all the weird feelings of midgets on your chest? They actually have a feeling that it had to do something with the fires. Because in the fires, there were a lot of chemicals uh-huh. in those burns. Okay. And some of those chemicals could have adversely affected. That sounds like complete bullshit. It really isn't, though, for realsies. Yeah. Especially if you're, a, if you're an asthma-based person, because I have asthma. Oh. Um, that got, shit just goes puffer. like. Well, not only that. Like, for example, my physician when I was growing up, super cool. Is that the cat? That was a cat. That's 12 there, pounds of cat meat. That's 12 floor. pounds of cat hitting the floor. <laughs> I know, but he was super cool. He was like one of those doctors who would look into your eye and go, oh, you've got this. Here's your medicine. See ya. Nothing up your butthole. Oh. No, everybody wants to shove something up your butthole now, right? Yeah, well, that's medical school for an you. an amazing doctor, <laughs> but apparently but. had a moment of lapse, the wife did, because they had a fireplace in their house. They threw all their stuff in there to burn it. Well, inadvertently, there was a plastic jug in this burn of pile. Of kerosene. <laughs> Of, in this burn pile, and they literally passed out from the fumes. Oh. It affected their memory and everything else from that point on. So things that are burned that aren't supposed to be burned, chemicals are flying through the air that can fuck your shit up. Sure. Right? But now I know the heart is fine, so I can go back now and start doing, like, you know, exercise Base jumping. Base jumping. <laughs> the dude, X Games. Dude jumping. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be the world's fattest ninja warrior. <laughs> no, I just, no, I just, like, you know, I can now go back and do those things again and not worry about it. Nice. Yeah. And False could, positives are great. It, I have like a hundred of those. You know what I'm saying? I had the tit thing. I All those times you lump. thought you were pregnant. Yeah. One time. Okay. Oh. One that time. That sounds like its own episode. It's, <laughs> it really isn't. It really isn't. It's not. Okay. It was just worry. Talked my period into not coming. Uh, and yeah. then I was in a show where I had to wear a leather bustier. Giggity. Okay. And the one person who normally was my dresser that night was gone. They had a substitute dresser and she tied it too tightly. Which choked off your period? No. <laughs> I'm so confused. You were the master of anatomy. <laughs> no, no, because I was worried about this, right? Uh-huh. The period hadn't come yet. And then this was too tight. Which started So it. with the anxiety and with the suppressing of breathing, I like had a cow. And they're like, no, it was fine. It came. It was oh, fine. Okay. Oh. That was, see, that was nothing. You well, wanted to save is. a whole fucking... No. Nah. <laughs> but that's... Anyway, that's my thing. That's happened with the hard thing. So that one's clear. Uh-huh. Without a bustier. I'd say that's a good ending of things <laughs> when uh, we figure out the bustier that saves the oh, heart God. and kills the baby. Is, wow, that's like your second. <laughs> Jesus. Come uh, on. I'm Gary. I'm Dory, just Dory. I'm Electric Gary still. Yeah, you are. Liar. <laughs> and that's the tangent last. <laughs>